the redneck garage looks like rain's in the forecast for today but I am motivated to get some stuff done around the house the Toyota is going to be on my plate today but also the Jeep I thought I'd give you a little update of where I'm going with it and what I want to do the blue TJ I'm about ready to sell I've got the paint for it I just have to uh, sand it down shoot it uh, I got a couple little dings in the hood and whatever this is gotta fix that little bit of a ding on the fender but other than that it should be a fairly easy paint and you can see where it sits under this tree this top hadn't been on here that long and look at that nastiness so I probably should get like a cover uh, to keep this from just getting all nasty because this is a brand new super top on it gross all right my 08 JK that I haven't really done anything with I've driven it uh, and it's been fun to drive during the summer it runs really well it's got low miles uh, but you can see underneath that the frame looks like crap it's got some rust on it it came from up north DC uh, not rusted out but it does need some attention so I believe my next step with this is going to be go ahead and get a rough country lift kit put on it raise it up a few inches clean up the frame and start making plans for repainting it I'm gonna paint it white while I'm working on the Toyota and I'm unable to paint, I can work on this and work on the frames. That's kind of my plans to work on the Jeep as well as the Toyota because I'm not going to be able to paint here in just a little bit. I know some of you can relate to this. When you haven't worked on a project for a while, trying to get back in the swing of things is a little bit difficult. I'm going to use the next hour probably to get my bearings again and create the, the plan in my head of what I need to do next. But uh, i got to get this thing running. Here's the rebuilt fuel injectors. I'm going to go ahead and take these out so I don't have to change the fittings and they should plug right back in. Okay, I'll be honest with you. There is no way this could become more aggravating than it is right now. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so these connectors were the wrong ones, even though they sold these as a replacement for the 88 Toyota pickup truck. So I bought these and these are supposed to be the Denzos that fit the truck and of course they'd look like they would fit you can see the difference you can see the difference from the injectors is the slot here is on the top and the slot here is on the bottom now how easy do you think it would be to find injectors to fit that truck well evidently they're non-existent the uh, 030 ending for those uh, original fuel injectors I haven't been able to find anywhere um, the closest thing I had is something that's an 040, which is the ones that are in it, and the slot is in a different place. So do I just grind that slot off of the injector and stick the plug on, or do I solder in new connectors? I don't know. I sent an email to one of my suppliers who sells a bunch of stuff for Toyotas, and we'll see what they have to say. But I'm really thoroughly um, kind of irked off and would rather be working on a Jeep today. It's very early in the morning. It's still foggy. Sun's just coming up. Uh, I'm going on an adventure this morning. Yesterday I was really just put out with the uh, fuel injector situation with the Toyota pickup truck. Can't buy them, can't find them, don't know which ones to use. I've got some emails out to some Toyota people and uh, hopefully I'll get a response back on that to help me navigate which one to go, do I need to put in new connectors and put in the older style or do I need to, who knows, I don't know. <laughs> The fuel injectors that I have on my truck were only used for like one year, 1988, and they're really hard to find evidently. So anyway, uh, going to take the Jeep on an adventure this morning. This tire has a slow leak, so I'm going to pump it up, and uh, then we'll get going. Let me tell you, it is really foggy out this morning. First thing I'd say is there are a bunch of ignorant people that don't know how to turn on their headlights when it's just foggy and you can't see 10 feet in front of you. Second, I'm headed up to Nashville. And if you remember, I said that I ordered a Maverick. I've never even seen one. So there's supposed to be one up in Nashville with one of the Ford guys at a hipster coffee shop. All right, so I made it up here. When I was a kid, this area was not a place you would ever come to. Uh, on this side of town, but it's been revitalized by a bunch of hipsters and things like that So it actually is really a lot nicer than it used to be. Um, there's still some slummy areas, but we'll see steadfast coffee is where we're headed Wow, there it is the first one I've seen in real life in person a Maverick in the wild and I thought it was black 
but it's actually a dark blue that it's kind of overcast today. Um, this is a layered edition with all the whistles and bells. Well, that's where we're at. It does look nice, I tell you. I was surprised. It's bigger than I thought from... It's actually bigger than I thought. This is a Lariat. Wow. Pretty cool. That bed is neat. Sweet! I noticed today that uh, on the Maverick, if you look underneath the mirror, it's got that kind of a curved area that kind of swoops down underneath the mirror. Uh, that's really mimicking the F-150s and the larger trucks, uh, the ancestors of this little baby. <laughs> Nice. It's more of a chocolatey brown. It's darker brown than I thought it from the pictures, which really looks a lot better than I thought. I like that. Sweet. This thing is neat. Super sweet. I could put my chihuahua in here and take him to the vet. Nice. Okay, well I made it back safe and sound and uh, actually I really enjoyed it even though it was really super early in the morning. Uh, meeting Michael was a pleasure and here's some things that I didn't know that I gleaned from you know talking to him and looking at the truck. First of all, the hybrids haven't been released yet because the EPA ratings aren't out. They probably have quite a few of them already finished, but they can't ship them until they get EPA ratings, and that should be coming really soon. Awesome. Secondly, um, I thought the truck was a lot bigger than it appeared in a lot of the advertisements and just looking at it. You know, it's different to get a perspective when you're actually there at the truck, and it was, it, to me, it felt a lot bigger than um, in the videos that I've seen. And the third thing that I would say is, even at the low end, the XL versus XLT and the Lariat, you're still getting a ton of stuff with that truck, like uh, Android and uh, Apple CarPlay. Uh, you've got a hotspot that comes with it. You've got the Ford Pass app that you can start it uh, remotely and check your tire pressures from inside your apartment. All of this stuff comes on the, uh, the base model. So everything that you add on, mine's about $10,000 more than the, the base model because I wanted adaptive cruise control and stop and go and all that kind of stuff but as far as like if you just wanted a basic truck with a with a great radio and sound system the twenty thousand dollar truck is still a really great purchase so that's what i would say about that uh, i'm excited to get mine we'll see I, the only thing i told him that i was disappointed in is the communications from ford uh, as far as like the dealer and the manufacturer you know you put in an order and you get an email saying hey we received the order but you don't know when it's been going into production until you get your vendor that's a whole long thing and i'm not going to get into that but anyway uh, i look forward to getting my maverick and doing some reviews on that uh, it's going to be a super cool truck now as far as the toyota goes i just got sick and tired of it yesterday because of the stupid uh injector issues that i've had i'm going to get a result of that this week and get finished with that stupid thing uh, I am gonna start working on this Jeep here my uh, JK as far as like doing the frame and lift kit and uh, starting to do plans for painting it and the the TJ that's on my burner too so I'm hoping to get some other videos done as far as like getting prep work on on these two and getting some mechanical stuff done so awesome uh, appreciate you being a subscriber keep watching I got to get rid of one of these vehicles who knows uh, but I'm excited about the Maverick I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.